Hi everybody, Nick from Genetti Racing here. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install your SCT Live Link software. Um, some people have trouble with it, so we're going to straight out. First thing you need to do is open up your web browser. In this case, I am going to use Internet Explorer. We're going to go up to the address bar, type in the SCT website, www.sctflash.com. When you're here, you're going to go over to tech support. And you'll see some things, um, top five technical solutions, device updates and downloads. This is where you want to be, or by device updates and downloads. We are going to click on General Motors Programmers right below that. From there, you are going to select your device. In this case, a SCT tuner from us for your 2010 Camaro, 2011 Camaro. It is the SCT 3400. You will click on that. It's going to ask you for your serial number. Your serial number is on the back of your device. If you flip it over, it's right at the top. It starts in XP. Click Submit after you have your serial number typed in. Okay, you will see all the downloads for the SCT-3400 pop up here. Um, what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom. You will see SCT-3 Power Flash General Motors Program Live Link Data Logging Software. That is what you need in order to data log your car with SCT. Go over and click Download Now. Uh, it's asking me to run or save. You can just run or save. It doesn't matter. In the case, I'm just going to run it for time purposes. It's a pretty big file, so be patient downloading it. Okay, we're just about done downloading here. It's going to prompt you for permission if you're on Windows uh, Vista or Windows 7, Windows XP. Uh, just click continue, no big deal. You see the installer pop up. It's going to take a second before you actually get to the uh, part where you got to do anything. You'll see here it has popped up. It says, Welcome to the Install Shield Wizard for LiveLink. This is where you need to be. Just click on Next and then click Install. It's now going to install the LiveLink software machine. Someone's done here, it's copying new files. Okay, this will not pop up on your screen. This is my antivirus flagging it. Um, I actually recommend that you disable any antivirus before you try to install this. Uh, in this case, I know how to get around it. Some people may get confused. But again, that screen should not pop up on your computer. Now this is a part where people do get confused. Um, if you have not installed Device Updater already, it is going to want to install the FTT drivers. Now it still will prompt this even if you have the drivers installed. 
Um, so what you want to do is go down to your start icon um, on Windows Vista and Windows 7. It's this icon on Windows XP. It's start. Click click here. Go to control panel. You want to go to programs and features. On XP, it's add or remove programs. Scroll down to the S's. In this case, I do not have the driver. I already installed it for the video purposes. Uh, if you do have a driver here, do not go ahead and install drivers. Again, if you already have the drivers, do not install them. Just click cancel when the window to install drivers pops up. So let's go back in. In this case, I am going to install drivers. So to do so, we click next. And it will ask you to install. If you want to install, click the install button. So right now, both LiveLink and the drivers are both installing on your machine. We're almost done installing here. Okay, the drivers have finished. Live Link has finished as well. So we'll click finish on both of them. And you have successfully installed your Live Link software. In the next video, I will show you how to um, create your configuration file for the Live Link, which parameters to choose and where they are. And also getting it up and running with the car so you can dabble for Ted and get your vehicle uh, up and on the road the way you want.